to write poetry. Hi, I'm Cecilia Ellis-Wallin from Inventicity, the channel where we combine inventiveness and felicity. And the topic for this video is how to write poetry, and more specifically, how I write poetry. So for me, writing poetry is really, really rewarding, uh, because uh, writing poetry, it is so much more about coming up of genuine ideas than if I write uh, prose or a persuasive text or copywriting. Uh, po writing poetry is like listening to uh, your inner wisdom um, and uh, to, uh, to uh, writing poetry is almost effortless compared to writing prose or other kinds of text. Um, we just have to daydream or dream at night and if we have a wish to uh, write poetry then sentences will appear and uh, we can detect that um, sometimes when, when, when I sleep I wake up and I have a sentence in my mind and I can detect that this this is poetry. I can make something of this and then I get up and I scribble it down. Um, and sometimes um, uh, sometimes when I daydreaming, suddenly just some sentences appear and I can write them down and it will become a good poem. So writing poetry is uh, so much about allowing yourself to daydream and allowing yourself to come up with new ideas, to allow, to trust in your own ability to compose. So we have a hidden, we have so many hidden treasures in inside us, in our unconscious mind. Uh, and that's, um, uh, that's the ability to compose original poems and come up with inventive original ideas. And, um, uh, to, 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 to come up with fantastic, original, beautiful sentences. And it's, uh, it's so rewarding because it is almost easy, it is easier than, um, than reading uh, to come up with, uh, with, um, with my own poems. Uh, so it's, <laughs> it's relaxing and fun to daydream and it's rewarding when uh, you get good ideas, beautiful sentences. And um, the, the more you dream up the poems, at least, at, least that, at least that's true for me, the more I dream up uh, my poems, uh, the better they become. If I try to construct a poem, then it will not become good at all. Uh, so uh, the, the great poems, they almost always just appear. Um, and what you must have is the ability to detect that uh, the sentence you have suddenly in your head, that it is poetry and that it deserves to be written down. So uh, once you, uh, sometimes you just get one sentence and you write it down and then you have to wait hours, days, weeks, years for, uh, for the next sentence to appear or maybe to some degree uh, we, we have to edit and polish and construct um, our poems as well but we have to do it carefully so we don't lose, uh, lose the, best, um, the best content in the poem. So writing poetry is really rewarding and it is because um, we come up with new original um, ideas and sentences and um, we don't, like when we write prose or, um, uh, or uh, yeah, prose uh, and, uh, and um, when, when, when we write uh, articles, when we write blog posts, when we write uh, prose, uh, we use, um, we have to, uh, we, and we use like building blocks uh, of ideas and, um, and language. Uh, uh, and um, uh, to some degree, to some degree there is poetry in everything. So if, um, uh, if I write the driest text, there, <laughs> there will be some poetry in it. I think it's impossible for a human to do anything totally 
void of poetry. Uh, but um, uh, when we write prose, uh, it's at a much higher um, degree. We, we, we use um, old building blocks, old ideas, old um, ways of constructing sentences, uh, old ways of constructing paragraphs. And of course it um, makes it easy to read prose, so, so that is good and fine. Um, it's often demanding to read poetry because we encounter something new and hopefully it will make us think in new ways. Um, that's what I, when I read poetry, I hope to, to read something that make me see things in a new way and uh, to, uh, something that will change me, that will change my mind and uh, uh, not only make me a better poet but m make me a better thinker in general. Uh, so <laughs> it's, uh, it can be demanding to write poetry, but uh, it, so it can be demanding to read poetry, but uh, it's um, effortless to write great poetry. We just have to ask our mind to come up with uh, the poetry and it will serve us well. Most often it will serve us well, especially if we make it a habit to write poetry. Our mind will do what we ask. Uh, it to do, it will deliver the most insightful lines. Uh, yeah, so writing poetry is a great, not not hobby, I, do, I wouldn't say hobby because writing poetry, I think that's one of the most important things we can do, writing poetry uh, is um, uh, we need uh, we need uh, all things we have in society. I think all good things we have in society, they have once appeared in one human's mind. So we can't we can't build something new just from old ideas. We must come up with new ideas, uh, and uh, writing poetry is one part of that. And I think that writing poetry is an exercise for coming up with. Um, uh, the ideas in other areas as well. The best poetry, the best poets are often also the best prose writers and I think that if we write poetry we will be more insightful and it will be easier for us to come up with ideas and new perspectives in other areas as well. Uh, and it's always, it's always good for us to relax and daydream, so that is a reason good enough to write poetry. Uh, yeah, so um, I don't know how you write poetry, maybe you have another opinion. Uh, and um, maybe you um, have some tips to give. So uh, link to your videos or comment below. And uh, yeah, <laughs> uh, I, now I am going to take, try to take some pictures here in this beautiful spring landscape here. Uh, so I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye.